What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about NBA Youngboy. A lot of people always say, Truth, you know, NBA Youngboy kind of fell back since he beat his fed case. I'm not surprised by that. I'm kind of surprised that people are surprised by that. I think he doing the right thing. I think, you know, he beat his case. There's no need to still be wild and aggressive and shit like that. I think he understand he got a second chance, a dose of reality. Almost got his career stripped from him for a little while. I think he's grateful for that. I do think the police try to do some dirty, messy shit with him. Trying to give him a fed case and all kind of shit. I get it. Uh, my whole thing, though, is I think NBA Youngboy is smart enough to understand he got blessed with this. Stay out of the bullshit. You know, when he was going through that ordeal, he was on house arrest. This guy was stuck in his crib. He couldn't tour. He couldn't go on tour days. Lost a lot of money. It's the pandemic was going on, so shipping was kind of fucked up as far as the mail, so merchandise wasn't really going good. Then he signed the contract, so he wasn't in control of his destiny. Money slowed down. All he can basically rely on was the streams and shit, so he dropped them disc records. He knew them songs was going to take all the way off, you know? So I think he was smart. He understood that. Uh, now that he didn't beat that, there's no need to keep doing that. What he did actually hurts Lil Tim. Let's be honest. You know, Lil Tim is going to portray everything to be as a, you know, something that happened in the spur of the moment. He was protecting somebody, didn't really know what the fuck was going on. But, you know, pictures have been painted different, you know, especially with like 600 Breezy kind of showing that NBA young boy was doing shit behind the scenes and things like that. Um... You know, people don't realize that, you know, this might have not just been no spur of the moment bumping to each other and through the knuckle. Listening to NBA Youngboy diss songs where he dissing, you know, some of the guys out there, uh, dissing a lot of the homies from here, homies from there, shouting out Wooski name, dissing India, all kind of shit kind of seemed like maybe it was some messy shit going on behind the scenes. You don't think that them lawyers is going to pinpoint that shit? You got to think about that. I'm not sure, you know, him be a young boy not on trial, but I'm about positive. His name is going to come up in this trial. You know, uh, it's a lot of people seeing these this night that happened with King Von, Lil Tim and Quando Rondo stem from some shit that might have happened from NBA young boy. I can't verify that. You know, I don't want to spread no rumors. That's not what I'm here for. But I think NBA young boy know to fall back. There's no need for him to be doing that shit that, you know, steady dissing them guys. I think they should let Lil Tim come from up under what he coming from up under before they start releasing them diss records. Because self-defense is hard to prove when you got records antagonizing a person who lost his life. So I think NBA Youngboy understands that everything he posts, tweets, say the whole world watching. I don't think he really helped Lil Tim with di with dropping them diss records. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think Lil Tim helped himself either by dropping diss records, but especially NBA Youngboy. Uh, that's just my opinion. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Blah, blah, blah.